Hello and welcome to the Real Estate Regroup Show. I am your host, LJ Walker, a real estate investor helping you realize your dreams of owning a home or investing in one. So with today's show, I'm going to be speaking about Aretha Franklin. Let's look into her life and see what we can learn, okay? So as many of you know, Aretha Franklin died back in 2018. Recently, there was a new will that was found in her couch. That will was dated 2014. I believe that the court recently um, has allowed it to be permissible. Uh, As you know, the family is still in probate court. How many years later? And there was another handwritten will that was actually found in her cabinet. That one was dated 2010. So hopefully uh, it'll come to where there will be a permanent decision (laughs) that will finally be made now that we have the two wills in front of us, unless there's another will somewhere else. But I want to just pause for a second and say this, whether the will is handwritten or is written by typewriter, I think that we all need to do a better job as far as where we place the wills. Uh, There are banks out there that have safes that we can use. You can also buy a safe on Amazon. (laughs) So I think it would behoove everybody to, um, in order to make it a little bit easier for those that we are going to be passing down our businesses, our money, etc., to that we keep it all in one place, in a safe, uh, ha- finding things in the couch that's just not... Uh, or in or in a cabinet that that's just not the best way to go okay all right uh getting back to other information about aretha now when it came come to her songs aretha wrote some of the music that she sung not all of it and she does own some of her music catalog. Again, not all of it. What people forget is that the song Respect was actually originally done by Otis Redding. I've seen other people make videos about, oh, she's going to get money from that song. I don't think so. I I don't believe she owns that particular song. Otis might not own it either. I didn't uh, go into detail with it. Okay, Uh, she also owns the copyright on many of her music as well, unlike many of today's musicians, uh, because many of today's musicians, for some reason, they are selling off their catalog. I don't know what that's about, but uh, yeah, that that is suspect. Okay, Uh, when she died. Aretha had $80 million, but now they say that her estate is only worth $6 million. So many people are questioning, how is that? Well, I did a little digging and I found out some extra information that they may not be aware of. Okay, I don't have the numbers per se, uh, but just take a listen, all right? So when it came to her real estate holdings, yes, Aretha once had a home in New York and she once had a home in California, but she sold those a long time ago and she moved back to Detroit. In Michigan, she had three homes, okay? Uh, her childhood home was also sold a while back for, um, no, I, it's, it's what, I can't remember actually, I think it wasn't a while back. I think this was 
fairly recently. Um, sorry about that. Um, and that home sold for $379,000. Okay. Uh, and I believe one of the homes that she did have uh, they recently sold that for $1.3 million. Okay. So not only does Aretha have the money from her catalog, but she has the money from real estate. So I don't feel as though the family needs to worry too much about that. Plus, as many of you recall, the family was responsible for one of the movies about Aretha that came out not too long ago as well, right? So they got money coming in, all right? Now, what may be taking up the money is a number of other things. First of all, when Trump was in office, he doubled the estate taxes, all right? Yeah, I know. We thought that Trump would be for real estate, but in some areas, he made it easy. In other areas, he made it difficult, particularly for those who are not as established when it comes to real estate investing as he and his friends are. Put it that way. <laughs> okay, so that's one of the things that would have taken a hit as far as lowering the amount of what the estate is actually worth. Then, of course, the court costs. To go to court costs money. Um, they The court actually charges you. Then, uh, all these different kind of fees, okay? And then you have lawyers, and it's not just one lawyer. It's several different lawyers that are involved in the case, okay? So uh, that's another thing. And then Aretha did have some debtors that she owed money to. There were lawyers involved in other situations before the probate case that she did not pay. Uh, there were tax collectors that she did not pay. There was a moving company, landscapers, and a home inspector that she did not pay. So they are all coming in for that money as well. Uh, and it is something to note here, and this is not really a strike, this is just an observation. A lot of people who are on Aretha's level, Aretha's talent, when it comes to handling money, they may not necessarily have been the best when it came to handling their money and when it came to handling their business. I believe, and it, it has been stated, that she was overwhelmed by handling her own expenses. A lot of times when she did finally reach out for help, it was too late. Um, she didn't really have enough time to sit down and devote and to analyze which strategy would be the best for her finances. And I get it because if you recall, Aretha Franklin came up during a, a time when there was a lot of racism. Yes, there's racism now, but there was a lot more back then. Sexism, yes, it still exists now, but there was a lot more of that back then. And Many minorities were ripped off by everybody. Um, you always hear, if you've been around as long as I have, you always hear people say, uh, entertainers. And, and sometimes even white entertainers will say they got ripped off by their accountants. And what's, what I don't like is a lot of times when the accountant rips you off and doesn't pay the taxes... They don't go after the accountant. They go after you. Okay. And I'm not sure if you guys know, but all three of the homes at one point, they did go into foreclosure. 
but Aretha went, paid those taxes off, and got those homes back. Okay. The other thing, sometimes the lawyers rip you off. Uh, and not just musicians, actors also. I've, I've seen it happen across all races, but it seems to happen more towards minority, especially blacks, black Americans, African Americans. Sometimes the company, the contracts that they sign, I don't really care for those contracts. Many times, too, you'll notice that the contracts that many of our singers sign, they sign them when they're teenagers. And what does the company do? The company says, oh, you don't need a lawyer. You can just use our lawyers. Now, you, if you are a certain age, you know that's a no-no. But for those of you who are young, get you uh, either legal aid, legal shield, go somewhere and get yourself legal representation. Do not trust someone else's lawyers for whatever deal that you're going to get into, whether it is a real estate deal or a deal when it comes to music. Sorry for the background, guys. It is pouring rain outside where I'm at. So if you're having difficulty hearing me, that's why. <laughs> All right. It's Mother Nature. It's not me. All right. So anyway, I I get why uh, she had trust issues, if you will, because to be honest with you, I got trust issues myself. It's not easy hiring people. Sometimes you can find somebody talented. Sometimes you can find somebody smart. But they, that same person might not necessarily be trustworthy. And that's the problem. The other thing as well uh, to note is that Aretha, she had a bad experience at one time on the plane. So eventually, after a while... She only traveled by bus. I believe this was in the 80s. Before then, yes, she was on the plane. But after that, she was on the bus. And yes, typically you would say the plane is faster uh, than the bus and that the bus is cheaper. But think about this. Think about all the equipment that she had to take with her on the bus. And then if I'm not mistaken, she also paid musicians and some other people to get on the bus with her so she probably had more than one bus and I was listening to Kenny Rogers today and he was like yeah when you own your own bus and you own too many of them uh, that'll take you to the poorhouse real quick <laughs> that's what he said you go back in YouTube and look do some searches and and listen to uh, Kenny Rogers talking about spending money uh, when you first get into the industry and things like that. So, needless to say, I understand Aretha uh, not having trust because of her environment. However, um, it is something that's needed. It is some. It, it is. It is needed that you have the right team members around you and again I get it because I've trusted people who have ripped me off which is why I wrote the book the perils of real estate scam alert so that nobody else could would fall into the same traps that I did so you know I I get Aretha but at the same time, I know that it is essential in order to propel. You just have to uh, sometimes keep reaching out, learn from your mistakes, and then choose hopefully the right person the next time around, right? So that's, you know, one of the issues. The other thing, too, that was a little surprising but not too much um, and this was brought up when she died, and that was they could not find that she took out any insurance. Uh, she was advised, actually, 
And I believe she was advised properly that if she had taken out an uh, insurance that was irrevocable, it would have been passed down non-taxable to her heirs. In addition, I was told, I, I, was re I was reading where it said that if she had the trust in addition to the will or instead of the will, they would have avoided probate court. But again, it depends on how the trust would have been set up. As far as her not doing insurance, I get that. I understand that as well. Because, again, insurance companies historically have discriminated, again, against African Americans. So she probably, again, said, you know what? I'm not going to move in this particular area because she's seen what happened. We've all seen what happened. Look at the Tulsa race riots that occurred many, many years ago. Um, it, did, it did occur before Aretha was born. Uh, however, all of those people, their houses were burned down to the ground. And even though they had fire insurance, the insurance company would not cover them because the fires were started due to a riot. And riot was not written into the policy. See, what many people don't know, and I didn't know this until recently myself, is that whatever policy you get before you sign your name on the dotted line, you can actually have them modify it to benefit you more. But many of us don't know that. And like I said, even I myself didn't know this until recently. You don't have to go by whatever they ha they give you as a standard, right? You can have certain things written in. Now, if they write those things in, they may be options and they'll make you pay a little bit more for it. However, it may save you and your descendants a lot of time and a lot of money in the end right so that's basically something to think about um and as far as trust concern getting back to that point uh that one of the lawyers had made that he tried to speak to miss franklin about there's a lot of different trusts and they can be written many different ways you just have to have the right person to do it for you trust also costs more money than just having a will that's the other thing so again i understand why aretha chose the path that she chose it may have uh i would say it hurt the family a little bit more than it's hurt her but i wouldn't be crying and i'm not i'm not going to cry over it um it's just i wanted to just bring this to to you guys attention put it into perspective so that you guys can understand why she may have done what she did. And also so that you can think a little bit more about what you are going to do uh, before you pass on. All right. One thing I, I really like that Aretha did is with I believe it's the son that she made the executor. But she said she made him go back to school and and learn business administration and finance. The reason why I like this is because it's not enough to just pass money down from one generation to the next generation. If the next generation does not know how to manage that money, they can lose all the money that you worked for. And then there's no more money to pass down to the next generation. So that is something that she did that is brilliant and that made her a queen in another light, in my opinion. 
okay? So, guys, that's all I have for you tonight. Hopefully, the information that I've shared will help you make smart financial moves. Feel free to pass this amongst your friends. Remember, each one, reach one, teach one. Bye for now. Until next time, have a good night.